Welcome to another great episode of American Rifleman Television. Now this week, we're starting our look at the Americans in World War I. Our doughboys went over there. This week, we'll cover the conditions and the horror that our men faced as they stepped into France 100 years ago. This week's Rifleman Review Gun is the Ruger SR1911 chambered in 10 millimeter. Or I have this old gun as the Breda Model 1938 submachine gun. Actually, a very, very good design. But right now, Let's look at the Americans and the Great War. By April 1917, when the United States of America intervenes in the First World War, the conflict had descended into a very predictable symmetry. The way that the campaign unfolded in 1914 uh, was not exactly as it had been, been imagined. And the result was that the Belgians slow the Germans down as they attempt to push toward Paris. After doing so, as a result of modern rifled breech-loading artillery and of course the introduction of the machine gun, German forces bog down along a line just to the northeast of Paris and runs all the way down to the Swiss border. Because of modern artillery and the machine gun, the opposing sides begin to dig in. This was the infantryman's home for about four years. We're at the bottom of an actual trench. Up there is death. Military technology had changed since the last wars. You had quick firing artillery, you had belt fed machine guns, and of course, repeating magazine rifles capable of great accuracy. The safest place for an infantryman was down here. Inside the trenches, they were lice ridden. Rats were running everywhere, and often, especially for the Allies, it was wet. The Germans, when they seized the ground in 1914, backed off to take the high ground to look down at the Allies. During big offensives, Allied soldiers would go over the top, and it's over the top of that trench. Any offensive action that gets you above the ground was likely to result in heavy casualties. 